Hey guys, Brett here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are for another build episode. We're going to do a uh, vulture farm. Here we are at Sutton Farms. Uh, the link for the map and the vulture mod and also the place enemy mod and the grass patch mod will be in the description. So check those guys out. Um, this is like the house that we sort of start with, but I believe there's no like sleep trigger or spawn point or anything like that. So. Um, first of all, I might need to. Just thinking about chucking another house. Um, with it being. Yeah, this one. Sort of. Actually, what's there? There's like another room for another house here, so we could put it here even. That might be the way to go. Put it. Bang, in there. So then, if we go start landscaping, this is our actual house here. I think the land got all sorts of bucket up then, but that's all good. We'll fix that quickly while we're here. Right, do a bit of painting. Um, I'm going to put in, put in grass everywhere except for pretty much the driveway. And then I've also should have the link for the place anywhere mod and also the grass patch mod in the description. So. I will be using the grass patch mod to turn this grass here back into um, growing grass. So that way you guys can come in and mow it and um, do whatever you would like to do. There we go, right, just like a walkway in there. There we go. I'll quickly go into our it's not miscellaneous, is it? Nope. Grass patch mod. To I think I might have to paint um, the walkway and stuff again, but that'll be fine. Grass there. I'm gonna have to put some grass down along the side of the house here. Lots of down around the back as well. Covered everything. I think uh, one there, and maybe one like here somewhere. There we go. Just trying to sell all these guys. So I did have a request um, to do the vulture farm, and also had another request to do another let's build in real time. Um, it's going to be used. We're going to use all the base game items, uh, just the mods, as I've said, the Sutton Family Farm, and also Place Anywhere and the Vulture um, mod pack as well. I don't want to be using um, too many other mods because it does tend to cause dramas with save games at times, and also it's pretty difficult for me to actually go and find all those mods again. So there we go. Um, I might do. There we go. So that's the area. Now, the area that we own on the map, um, we own all over here. So these two fields, plus this little one here. Then we also own um, this big field here, field 15. Down to here, field 17. So all this area, but our main building is sort of going to take place in here. Um, need to sort of be careful what we do and don't actually buy. So let me go through here and go straight into our Vulture stuff. Um, heaps of modded stuff, A and T and S, which is all we've got here as well. But the modded ones I think might be a little bit better. If it loads in, there we go. Um, standard, front weight, wheel brand, wheel setup, engine setup. Load attacher, yes, we want definitely want that. Um, no, we don't want a front load because we want a front load attacher. Wheel brand, knock in, Trelleborgs. I'd like to go Trelleborgs, I guess. Can we get. Yeah, no tires. Probably gonna need. No, probably not on this one. Might go. Um, 
We'll go to double rear, I think, because this will be our main sort of lifting. Lifting tractor and stuff. Metallic blue. Metallic red. I don't know if there's really that much difference. Um, but I think the vultures. I don't know what the vultures usually the colours usually are. You know, we'll buy that one. Go back. Go back in. Do the engine setup. We're going to do uh, narrow tyres and a front weight. I think so. This can be used to spray our crops. We'll go with uh, metallic red again. Do we have. I don't think we have like a chrome. Not that we really need chrome, but we go buy those guys. So vultures are sort of pretty much any color. Right, so the N series design color, which is what? No idea what the design color actually is. Uh, vulture blue. Can we go metallic blue? Rim color will be white. Um, Guard flares on, engine set up full, uh, front load attacher, yes we'll put another front load attacher on, Michelin, Trelleborg, go Trelleborg, dual rears again, so that's another front load, front load of vehicle, go out and go back in, we can go Vulture Blue, like that, we can full set up, Wide wheel weights, narrow tyres, back jewels. That'd be pretty cool. Um, did I actually? I took the cycle through. Did I actually put front loader? I did the front loader attacher on that one. Front loader on that one. So the next one. Oops. Guess how much horsepower has it got? 200 mine, so it's really not going to do any field work. So we'll do narrow tyres, dual backs, flares on, front loader attacher, no. Vulture blue, and we'll go metallic blue. Awesome. And we'll go the T series. Uh, engine setup, we're not going to do front loading stuff. Uh, Trelleborg, knock in, Midas, Michelin. Ooh, look at that. Pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, Trelleborgs. Everyone else has got Trelleborgs, but if we go with Michelin, wide Michelin tyres, we'll go metallic white. White design colour can be ultra white. So 271 horsepower, that'll do just a little bit of yard work, I guess. And if we go into our Vultra S series, engine setup. Metallic black and white. So 425 horsepower, so we need to sort of keep an eye on that. Let's just go wide tyres with that one. Grab another one twin wheels. Grab another one with those guys. I reckon that looks awesome. There, that's all the tractors we're pretty much going to buy. So we've got a front loader, um, sprayer, front loader, sprayer, and then three of the bigger tractors. So before we forget, we'll um, quickly go to the garage. What sort of horsepower? Even the small ones are, I oh know, 130s. Right. So one small one, which will be. Can actually do it. Right, we'll just go black, I guess. And then we'll go with the larger one, black. And we're obviously going to need um, silage cutter, manure fork. None of these things have really massive sort of bucket weights and stuff, do they? Which is Really weird. I might um, I might not actually put anything, anything. So you guys, when you guys play, you can actually put the buckets 
on yourself, whatever you want on each bit of equipment. So I'll just load this guy up. Go and load this guy up. I won't remove these guys from the area too much. I might just move them all out of the way. That way when we buy the equipment we need, we can sort of... Um, not have to move heaps of things because everything will be moved out of the way so you there put this guy over here out of the way you can park next to him actually might as well just park a lane right there hold that there's room for us anyway. So I know we're supposed to be building but let's quickly move these things out of the way and then we'll go and look at um, our farm. So the Vulture T will do some yard work but probably not as much. Didn't even look like it had a front attacher then. They don't really, they look kind of weird. But I don't mind these tractors, these tractors are good, they just don't have quite enough power for um, the bigger fields and that sort of thing. I do like that tractor, they were those uh, chains and stuff on the back for ploughing, I guess we can use that tractor. Right, anyway, let's. um. Decoration. I want to have a look down here. Um, I think I'm going to try and start over here. I want to place grass pretty much everywhere. Um, that there isn't grass, and then actually, we probably need to. Silly mate, we need to probably paint. grass everywhere from the entrance. I'm going to try not to remove too many of those bushes because they're actually um, not bad. Oh, there we go. Right, so paint all along here and we'll have to place the grass back down. So that'll at least give us somewhere if we don't actually place anything, we'll have grass to mow. Alright, go back into here, go back to 32 by 32s. sort of comes in the middle just there and there's this little dirt road down to the right so not quite sure what that's going to be used for so we don't have a lot of room here that's another thing that we need to sort of be careful of um, interesting but we can't actually place these down no can with the roller doors um, how many tractors do we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tractors. So I think at least we're going to need, need at least two. Oh, you bugger! Uh, at least two easy sheds. And now we've just bugged everything over there. Double click it, make sure I'd actually press the button. It's just taking a while to load. Alright, 
get rid of those again. A little bit frustrating because it's actually adjusted all the land and everything down there. Okay, well, not some of those who want sheds. So we want two of these guys. And I think um, like along here probably be the way to go. There. I'll turn the other one just that little bit. So I want to keep them all sort of the same height. So about there, so at least they're sort of the same height through there. So we might need to put some more grass texture down again eventually anyway. But um that can be Where we sort of come in, is that the right? I never get the right concrete texture. There we go. Alright, so that'll be storage for all of um, what the tractors. So four, five, six, seven. I think we have well, eight. I think we brought seven, didn't we? So it should be over here. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, there's eight. Well, there we go. So that's storage for all the tractors. We're going to need storage for their implements and all that sort of stuff as well. So this whole area here might even just be storage completely. And down here, I might put in some animals and that sort of stuff. Um, I'd actually want to put. I don't think we'll need a large silo. I think a small silo down here would be. All right. Um, so let's put it so it's sort of just there somewhere. So it's, it's going to level that ground that little bit, but we should be able to work with it. Run one through there. Run, try and run some grass back through. Bit of concrete and stuff, or asphalt, or whatever you want to call it, along through there. And I'm going to join this up. So that run down through like this. Have it so it sort of joins into there somewhere. So that'll be what, like where our silo is. Um, I do need to level out a lot of this because that's fairly high compared to where we are. A lot of this out, and then even through here, it's kind of really not the best slope to get to and from. There's a car coming down the road there. All through here, make sure that's all reasonably level before we bring all that stuff over. So that's there, and I think, as I said, we're going to need a little bit more storage in here. Um, there we go with something like this. I sort of would like a shed like this in here somewhere. No, I don't really want to damage any of that land there either, so possibly put it uh, fingers crossed. There we go, that's not too bad. Didn't want to affect the water or anything down in there. So that's not bad. Um, change that back, now we can try and get back to the right texture. Fill in a little bit of this grass. This around here. I think we might get rid of that. As much as I like that road texture and stuff through there. I think we need to get rid of it. 
so we've got more room to put, put stuff down in here if we need it. Alright, there we go. Grab those guys and sell them and get them out of the way again. So we should have enough stuff now, enough storage for all that here, um, harvester in here. Uh, spreaders, cedars, all that sort of stuff should be more than enough in there. Um, as far as this area goes, it probably needs a. Um, I don't know. Oh, there we go. We can actually put these in. Fertilizer station, lime station, pig food, seed. So, seed, fertilizer, lime, seed, lime, and liquid fertilizer. Fertilizer, lime, and seed. That's all we really, really need, isn't it? And we probably need um, seed, lime, and liquid fertilizer. So we really need herbicide too, but I don't know if there's any there. Doesn't look like it. Right, so we'll put. These aren't mods, these must be um, part of the map itself, so... Okay, there we go. Not sure what happened there, but anyway. Kind of a little distance apart. They're all a little bit different, but... I don't know what we need that for. Um, let's go through... Run in a road, it's sort of coming in and out to grab what we need. Uh, there we go. So, I don't know whether we'll come in, right, reverse in, or drive in, or whatever we need to do, but probably run in. And then I don't know if we probably should have a way for us to sort of run back out and around, should we? And then fill that center spot with something, something else. All right, there we go. I think that looks pretty good. So once we get all our equipment and stuff over here, we'll have this spot here for something. Um, we've already got our silos. Pig feed silo, which is interesting. We can put that in somewhere. Maybe a hayloft in the middle. Sticking either that or um, there's really not much else. That or some sort of animal pen. What we put our chicken coop in here? Or um, how's our large pig enclosure? It's gonna be too big, isn't it? Oops, that's a mod as well. Wow, that's huge. Awesome. Um, smaller big enclosure might fit in there. Actually, that will probably fit in there really well. And again, yeah, I don't want it to go. It's probably going to affect the land a little bit too much. this pig area in here, I think we need to sort of 
give them like a bit of grass and that sort of thing to make it look more texturally pleasing I suppose. So I have it run in and out of here, so I'm going to have to come back and put a bit more grass in there. But So that's a pig enclosure, that's pretty close to the home, which is pretty good. Let's level all this back out again. Gonna have to come back through and do the grass again. I know you guys are probably like, oh, what? But um, definitely like to do like our grass, put our grass down first and then do it all, whatever else we need to do after that. Because then hopefully it'll save us putting too much grass down. That, that doesn't matter if it's going to go inside the building, we don't actually get to go in there anyway, so. Something like that. Uh, like that. We'll go the 8x2 in here. Put a little bit of grass just in some odd spots there. Front, possibly even. Going through there, a bit of grass there as well. That'll do. Right, so we need to get rid of these 8x8 grass all along the front here. The easiest way for you to sell them is just to keep hitting enter and then move the mouse cursor, the pointer over to where it actually is. One thing I'd like to see in the base game is us be allowed to put in trees and certain shrubs and stuff. Um, it's kind of not that good. We can't actually do anything like that. Alright, so that's the pigs there. That's like all our storage for our equipment pretty well. Our home is just there. It's one of our fields here. Another field is just down here. This is where we can put our other animals, as I said. Um, so let's have a look. Definitely want to go with um, a large. Ooh, maybe not a large. Maybe just a small cow pasture. I don't even know if we can fit that in there. There's not much room down here at all. So that might be an option for a grass field or something like that. Might um, make this area into our animal area. Uh, large silo, double. Not quite sure how much this is going to affect the land. That's really the only problem. Let's go there. Not too bad. Um, I'm gonna landscape. I'm gonna paint uh, grass. See along here a little bit. We can come and touch up all the other spots after this silo. Obviously, isn't gonna be grass, but. Um, I want to try and avoid editing the height of the land as much. I know a lot of the times I've sort of gone through and just made the land as level as possible. I don't want to do that this time. I want to sort of have it so there's high points, low points, all that sort of stuff. Back here. Um, 
Maybe my guy will just mud. I like the idea of it being mud. Obviously, it's like a an English sort of map, so with it being sort of muddy in there, it's not a bad idea. Uh, so we come through there. So we're going to come in and off our grass and stuff, we can come in from another angle or even come out. So this guy will sort of run down here, then we'll also head up into the bunker as well. So I know there's no growing grass placed down here yet, but um, it might just put patches here and there. So let's have a look at um, obviously our large cow pasture now. Uh, something like this, I think. It won't modify the ground too much, and it does. Of course, it does. Um, I've already got our pigs. I think our sheep. Something like that. Now, yeah. large horse paddock. We nearly put it down over here, but um, I sort of want to square the field off. I don't really know where we're going to put this guy yet. So let me go back into um, our landscaping. Sort of want to start to level out All through here. There's going to be a fairly high, sort of ramped up spot there. So I think we need to bring this out a little bit. That's a little bit better. At least we won't have such a um, steep drop as close. We should still have a steady sort of spot for us to be able to climb up to the tractors with our trailers and all that sort of stuff. So it should be alright. Sheep area here. level as possible. Okay, so the cows set all along through here. Um, wasn't sure what to sort of paint. I might paint like rough grass all along there. Something like that so you can sort of tell it's a bit of a side of the hill sort of thing. I'll go back to normal grass, put in maybe some patches here and there of normal grass, but try and have it as rough as possible. Okay, so cows, sheep, so horses, we can, uh, put in down here somewhere. I think maybe down here, because by the time we um, should fit down here, we should still be able to have um, this field here. I stop vibrating up with our painting. Just want it to be square. There we go. Right. Just 
go back for a quick save. I have had issues in the past where we always seem to end up with the save game playing up. So, horse paddock down there, which is going to affect the land terribly again. So, I need to try and smooth that out as much as possible. Which I need to be actually a bit more careful. So I don't want to end up having like, a feed trough and stuff. No, that's alright. Looking like it's sort of up in the air when it's not. That doesn't look too bad. Get rid of all that grass in the middle there. I'm going to put the grass back in, but there we go. Um, and then the field there. So let's go back into our grass patch because we're going to have to sort this out. So we've got grass in as many places as possible. I'm actually going to just put grass all the way down to just in front of um, the building. You don't want to put grass in that building. The grass everywhere else we can sort of work with. Definitely want to grass all down inside the um, cow area and inside the sheep area and stuff too, and the pig area, or the horse area, I should say. So if we grab this along here, we should be okay. I'm trying to follow along this field down the bottom here. Get it. I would say if, if I was playing this map, I'd probably turn that into a um, grass field anyway, just because it's so close to um, the animals and stuff. So that's pretty good along there. Grass all along here. There's grass all inside there. We're going to need to put grass along this fence line. So we're gonna probably paint the majority of this stuff anyway, so that should be okay. Grass along there, then we're gonna to need to do uh, let's do eight by eight patches down through here. Through there and then try and screw it up with this road again. Go and then fill this area in again, but we'll get rid of these before we go too much further. Uh, they're all eight by eight ones. So this video is probably going to go for a bloody long time, but um, I said I had the request from one of you guys to ask me to do a full build in real time, so. Here it is. It is going to take a while for me to get it done. Um, it's usually why I time lapse it because, as you guys can see, it's not a quick process when you're trying to do a lot of um, sort of finer attention to detail sort of stuff. But I will, if I remember, I should remember, put a link to this map as a mod. Um, also, the grass texture mod, the place anywhere mod and um, the Voltra tractor mod as well so you guys can actually 
um, load up the save file, which I'll also supply to you guys as well, and be able to play this map as it is if you like. So I think that's pretty much it for our grass, except for sort of in there, but I'm not going to worry about that spot there. I think that's all of them. Yep, perfect. Alright, do another quick save. Go back into our landscaping. So, the muddy dirt um, was what I was going to sort of use down here. I'm not quite sure uh, if we should still use it or not. Oh, bugger. You should probably look at what tool you're actually using before you. Go pressing buttons. Alright, there we go. Gonna have to put down some more body grass now. Uh, one there, one there, that'll do. Alright, let's go back in and actually change to the painting tool. That might be helpful. Um, and then paint a road sort of off into here, around into there, around to there. We sort of want to come straight through here, up through here, of course. And another one around the side through to there. I am going to fill in these markers with this dirtier colour mud. So we'll sort of come back out into there. So we're going to come out down here. We'll have to back in and out sort of through there. So fill in that spot. I'll fill all this in with more muddy stuff. Um, come around through there, through here. This road is going to come along. I'm just going to do this really quick, that way I can sort of get a rough idea. Go through to there, that'll go through like that. Oh, there we go. So the faster you move the mouse, obviously it's um, doesn't paint anywhere near as good, which I don't mind. Um, it sort of adds to the texture and the character of the map itself. So, if you only want little bits, like move it really quick. If you want it to be more solid, move it a lot slower. Okay, so milk. This area I'm just going to make muddy as well. That's where the milk comes out. Not well, the milk's muddy, but you know what I mean. into there. Gonna be muddy with little patches of grass. Sort of ins and outs through here. So that road sort of along there. Road down along here. Along there as well. So sort of putting in roads Sort of everywhere. Everywhere I think like would probably sort of go. There we go. That's all right there. This uh, road will probably continue down to the field. Like that. And also come down this way to sort of where horses and stuff are down here. Okay, so make I said this these areas a little bit muddier than they would normally be. 
uh, in England after all. I think this map is sort of like an English based map, so we'll get a decent amount of rain normally. down to the smaller size so have the road come around down towards there road come in sort of from here down towards there as well It's not, obviously, it doesn't have to be perfect. Sort of, as long as it looks like it's been travelled on, that's sort of like the main thing. Dump. If you use the WASD keys while you're sort of painting, you could end up with paint anywhere, but... So it's not always a bad thing. There's no... Um, it's a sort of like art, I guess. There's no mistakes, like... You can never do a mistake as far as putting dirt or grass down or whatever you want, wherever you want it. It's um, sort of your interpretation compared to everyone else's. So don't feel like you're um, sort of doing anything wrong. If you, your map looks different to someone else's, like everyone's map's going to be different. My map's are different to most people's and that's just um, the way it is. So don't be too concerned. these muddy roads in everywhere. Oh, there we go. Um, sort of get a road to come over this way. This way. And even sort of one that goes through here. I said there's no no real right and wrongs. Sort of just do whatever whatever you want to do. Whatever you think looks good. There we go, do like another sort of slip lane through there, so there's absolutely roads just bloody everywhere to be honest. Um, do a road to the end of the field. Or you do a road like, somewhere. You never know when you get halfway through and you've got to go back and grab uh, some more seed or fertiliser or anything along those lines. So that's pretty much down here for that design sort of stuff. I'm all through there. It's all done that. I will just leave, I guess. You can fill it up with stuff later on. Um, that all looks pretty good. All through there looks reasonably good to me. Um, I think we do need to change it though because the other side of the map sort of all this yucky mud and it is a big area so be the way to go to make it sort of more like this. Right, okay, down through to here. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better like that. Alright, so there we go. Um, it's pretty much all the design done. What I'll do now is quickly we'll buy um, all the tools we think we're going to need. So a plough, um, might go the lemkin, might go, um, I think there's plenty of lemkin, lemkin stuff in here, nothing above say 400 horsepower, because I think our tractor, our highest tractor is 400 horsepower isn't it? Yeah 425, so nothing above 400 horsepower anyway. To 400, so we can grab that. I reckon we grab that instead of um, that guy. 
so the discarrow one instead of the cultivator, the cedar. I think there's a lemkin there. I believe there's a lemkin planter as well. Uh, crop protection. We will need a sprayer, but I'm not that concerned just yet. You guys can probably sort that out yourselves. Go with fertilizer. Spreader. Like that. Go with the lime spreader. Extension wide ties. Because we should do the lime before we do the field anyway, to be honest. Um, but new one spreader. Probably don't need one. Too big. Maybe the Samson. Slurry tanker. All these other things are sort of all well and truly over the top, I think. Um, Sooner disc, so that and that joined together. Well, that stays by itself. Let's grab that and that. Uh, weeders. So we could probably. Yeah, I reckon we could use a weeder instead of um, actually spraying, if you get it at the right time, of course. Uh, mower. Probably definitely going to need a mower. Alright, yep. Uh, tedders, we're going to need a tedder. Going to need a wind rower. I might go with the merge max. I haven't used that before. I think that's something that's pretty cool. Um, I don't think you need to go one too big. That one will do. Bailing technology. I guess um, I'll leave that up to you guys to decide if that's what you want to use. Animals, we're definitely going to need water. Trailer, I'm going to need forage mixer. And straw, we shouldn't need. We are going to need a milk trailer. So grab the little milk trailer. So front loaders, also going to need a bale spike and a bucket, I think. Oh no, just a bucket, maybe. And a silage cutter. I don't know. I'll, I'll let you guys decide that. Right, so that's saved. Let's um cycle through. So I sort of just need to pick things up and take them back. So what I'll do is I'll end the recording here um, and I'll do some screenshots after and you guys will be able to see um, what it looks like once we're finished. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment and um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And um, if you've got any ideas for any other builds, leave it in the comment section. Ben Brito, thanks for watching. See you again soon.